I think today in medicine in general and in cardiovascular metabolism in particular, uh, imaging is playing a, an increasing role and, and, and medical imaging is an exploding trend now today. Uh, why? Is mainly because it gives us access to much more precise phenotyping of patients for first of all to detect and to quantify disease but also to prevent disease by quantifying the risk of an individual patient. And so one of the examples I showed today is, for example, the calcium score of the coronary arteries, which can be done in a very simple and fast exam. It allows you to change pa patient management, in particular patients with hypertension or with diabetes, for example, by reclassifying the risk. There's a vast majority of patients we think they are at intermediate risk, based on the classic established uh, biomarkers, but actually this gives us access to the disease itself in the patient. And so this is completely changing the way we manage patients. This was one, one example I, I chose. The other example is to say that now we, can, we don't need biopsy anymore to look at the uh, composition of the myocardium. The heart, we can actually see both its deformation and its function in very precisely, but we can also see changes in the mass of the heart and also the volumes of the heart, the morphology of the heart, but most of all, we can access directly, non-invasively, in, in, in vivo, in humans, we can access the content of the myocardium. We can see if there's fat in the myocardium and we can quantify this. We can see if there's fibrosis and we can quantify this. So this is really a revolution to be able to do some kind of in vivo histology, replacing biopsy in, 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 to a certain degree. Uh, and, and this has been shown to be very valuable in many, many cardiac diseases. And this may be targets in the future for, uh, for example, drug trials uh, in order to monitor uh, patient management and treatment uh, in the future. So I think what is very impactful is that technology today is actually giving us more and more insight into the cardiovascular system, but also things are going faster. So now with techniques like in artificial intelligence, uh, uh, we can actually make all of this much faster. And so as a, as a physician, we can actually have much more uh, both information, but also time to go back to the patient and to go further with the research. Uh, and so I think this is really an exciting period.